Um, hello there guys, the Guck back here again with another cool awesome video. Um, this is an unofficial story revival project devlog number two. This is to show you that I am in fact still working on this here thing that I showed you in the last video. Uh, yeah, things are coming along quite nicely. Um, first I figure I'll show off some minor things that I've done and then some major things. Uh, one of the minor things in question being this, uh, a certain plot of land in Descent that originally wasn't there. Well, it was there originally, but it seemed to have had this uh, little bit of an issue where if you were to ground pound this certain area and you were to teleport somewhere else and come back to it, it just wouldn't go away no matter what you did. Like, you could ground pound it as many times as you like and it would still be there. But... I seem to have been a good little boy, and I fixed the bug nice and cleanly, so if you ever play this, don't even worry about this respawning, I got you covered, man. Um, another minor thing, if I teleport here, and then here, you'll notice that the entire save, you'll, no, no, sorry, rather, you'll notice that the entire teleport sound effect actually plays, instead of it, like, just abruptly stopping or whatever and on that note if I go here and I go to another room I fix the uh, the mute sound effect as well it actually works sorry not the mute sound effect just the mute um, feature it actually works now instead of it just like playing a split second of the song um, both of these bugs were actually pretty easy to fix I thought they'd be like impossible to do but it's all chalked up to really weird coding choices. Anyway, those are some minor things. Now let's get to the juicy, meaty stuff that I'm sure you've been waiting for me for ages to show you. So, straight off the bat, uh, if we go to Shallow Abyss, let's just say I have turned this into a much more interesting area. Before it just used to be a lame, quiet, uh, water area, but now there's actually something, there's a few things interesting about it. First thing you'll notice is this room right here, it looks very different. Before there used to just be like a bunch of red blocks here just blocking off your path, but I can actually walk around here. And if we go further to the left, there's two paths. You uh, can't go here because I never really uh You'd be walking straight into Cliffhang and I didn't really think of anything to put there. But if we go down here There's another path And there's a submarine too. What's this about? <gasps> there's dead people I think we ought to get to the bottom of this Why are there dead people in here? Well, if we go to the left, something that's catching our attention. Log number one. It seems to pretty much reach the bottom of this pocket of water. It's much bigger than we thought. Oxygen appears to be getting tighter. It appears the Invictus has hit a rock. Submarine is barely sustaining the damages. Movement has halted significantly. It's unclear whether we'll make it out alive. We tried to get in contact with Delta Team 2, but no clear signs of contact. It appears they're stuck in a similar situation, in some sort of cave. I wonder that where that could be? Somewhere on the other side of the map, perhaps? I don't know. Was something outside the window... Ah, oh, sorry. Was something just outside the submarine just now? Or was it my imagination? Whatever the case, nobody here has their marbles intact. Oxygen in an all-time low. In these last moments, it feels as though a negative energy is permeating the submarine. I can feel it in the upper quarters. There must be a reason why there are no signs of life deep in these waters. Oh, very scary stuff. Makes you wonder what's going on around here. You know, aside from crashing into rocks. But, a negative energy in the submarine? In the upper quarters? That could just be around here, I'm thinking. Whoa, look at that! New area! Forsaken Fall. Uh... I tried to go for like an evil Skylands sort of situation here. 
You know how, like, in the original game, there's, like, a random-ass portal that you come across in Upper Nightwalk? Tried to do the same sort of thing, but with Shallow Abyss, and now we have this very downtrodden-looking area. There was a heart here, but I've already gotten it, uh, so just walk past. Now, where does this portal take us? Whoa, Tropic Town! Almost kind of gives off the message where it's like, what are you doing in this weird, depressing looking area? You're not supposed to be here. Anyway, that's not all that I've added to Shadow of This. We've got a few more things that I've done. Let me just backpedal it a bit. Okay, so we're going back here again. You'll notice on the left is a bit of a cave-in, like, around here. And what is that? Oh, it's a secret path. Where does it take us? Boom! A night meadow. Um, yeah, I just thought this would be a cool little thing to add. Because, like, in the- in an untitled story, you know, it had all that cute little sort of, uh, connectability and whatnot. And I tried to add a similar sort of spirit, um, to an unofficial story, which of course there already is that sort of thing in like uh, Flylands and Birth Chamber and stuff like that. But yeah, this is just like a cool little thing I thought I'd add. I'm a little mixed on adding it personally because I think it's kind of pointless. Like there's not much more going on in here, no hearts or anything. But it does link up to this inconspicuous little save area which I think is pretty cool on my end. Um, oh shit, I just remembered another minor little thing. Um, this boss right here, the weird nerd snow looking guy, there used to be this weird bug where all the particles from the spikes and stuff, they would always land on this side of the room. No matter where the spikes actually landed, but I managed to fix that, so it's all good. No, no weird looking particle things happening there. Um, oh yeah, if we go to Graveyard, there's actually a machine here now. Complete with a uh, little gold, gold orb things, and then he still says the same thing about three gold orbs, even though it's actually four. I might have to do a thing like with the original Untitled story, where you have to put a different amount for the difficulty that you're playing on. Yeah. Anyway, one final thing that I wanted to show off in Shallow Abyss, which is probably something that will make the average player like. Never want to go here again. Um, so in this room there's supposed to be a heart. But I recollected it just right here. But in these lower rooms of Shallow Abyss, there's a very sinister secret that was kind of referenced in that book that I read before. Just, uh, just wait a minute. I promise you the payoff is huge. Believe me, friends. You're never gonna say you're never gonna see this area the same way again because of this. Believe me. Wait. Hold on a minute. Something's not right. Wait, 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 cut, cut. Hold on a minute. As you saw by that, my health was not going down no matter what I did. That's a bit of a odd looking bug there. I don't know why that happened. But, regardless, I implore that you wait another minute here. There's something big, there's something huge. You just gotta wait for it. Feel free to make a sandwich. I don't blame you. Are you doing it? I hope you're doing good. Okay, there's something drunk that smells like a shadow. Ah! Oh no! Mother of God. Yep, look at that. If you wait around long enough, 
in the lower rooms of Shallow Abyss, a beast comes along to kill you. Now, it takes a minute for that to happen. I was thinking of either shortening it or maybe making it longer, or even adding that thing as a boss. I was kind of mixed on doing that though, because I feel like this area doesn't really need a boss. It just exists as a cool, like, atmospheric sort of area. There is room for it though, absolutely, no doubt about that. Maybe like above that room or something. Maybe convert the connecting room into a boss room. I don't know. What do you guys think? I want to hear about your criticisms. That's what matters most. But uh, regardless, yeah, that's pretty much everything I've added. Uh, till the next devlog. Ciao.